Hello, Fish on Alberta viewers. So, we're back. After a couple of long years, we're back filming. I'm uh, just going to give you guys a bit of an update on the future of Fish on Alberta. Uh, yes, we are back, we are resurrected, and we will be moving forward. Uh, today, we're going to be testing out a number of different camera mounts including GoPro mounts and I got a whole bag of GoPro stuff there uh, everything I've been doing lately has been gearing toward bringing fish on Alberta back so we will be getting a new logo a new intro video but for today we're just gonna test out some camera angles and camera settings. So we're going to start things off here at Beaver Lake. I thought I got here early enough but uh, there's already six boats on the lake. A seventh one getting ready and I can hear a couple of vehicles coming now. So hopefully we can get on there and uh, get some fish before this becomes a circus. Uh, Victor and Terry Ann will be joining me shortly and uh, depending on how busy it gets here, we might just jump over to uh, Birch Lake down the road. But a couple of Fish on Alberta updates. So we will be getting a new boat. My little black backwater will be going away. And uh, it is all hopes that uh, I will come into the possession of a 16 foot Lund from Nanton Marine. Oh, great, another car coming. This lake becomes a circus, I tell you. Anybody who knows, you know, you really know how bad it can get. So yeah, new boat. We got new cameras. I might be purchasing a few more cameras. Um, I got a remote. This thing right here. 50 bucks, pawn shop. When I push that button, all the cameras connected will start recording. Which should help alleviate a lot of the issue when catching a fish. But uh, yeah, today is just a test day, so uh, I stopped at the James River on the way up here and it's full-blown runoff, so we won't be fishing that today. So uh, let's get uh, the little black boat in the water and see what we can do.
<laughs> oh yeah, he wanted it. Hard to say at this point. <laughs> 